between geezers and secrets in the police district. Good morning, detectives. Today, we have an important mission. The mayor has decided to demolish a chapel near Tini and Guerrero Park, claiming connections to illegal activities. Your task is to investigate and, if possible, save the location. Juan and Maria listen attentively to the commissioner's explanations at the police station, and something more is happening between them. The commissioner continues the mission explanation. Detectives, this chapel is a significant landmark for the community. The mayor wants to destroy it, but we need to check if there are valid reasons for that. I hope you can resolve this effectively. On the way to the chapel, the atmosphere between Juan and Maria is charged with a different vibe, a magnetism that goes beyond words. While investigating, an intense connection unfolds, revealing itself deeper than mere exchanged glances. A subtle electricity permeates the air, indicating that something more is pulsating between the two detectives. One, there's something about this chapel. I feel that there's a more personal connection to this mission. I can't fully explain, but something about this place stirred me in a different way. Maybe it's the significance it holds for the community, or maybe it's something deeper. I'm not sure. What do you think? I've noticed it too, Maria. There's something in the air and energy that goes beyond a simple investigation. It seems like we're involved in something more significant than our usual missions. What do you think it could be? I'm not sure. Let's park here. Arriving at the chapel. Maria, while pushing the almost destroyed door of the chapel, unintentionally touches Juan's hand. Oh, sorry. No problem. In a moment of investigation, Maria loses balance, and Juan catches her. Face to face, almost kissing, they realize the closeness but step back as they notice they are in a crime scene. We need to focus on the mission. You're right, Maria. While investigating, they don't realize they are being observed by a trafficker. Talking to residents. They're afraid to speak one. The community is terrified, fearing retaliation from the traffickers. We need to find a careful way to obtain necessary information without putting these people's lives at risk. Their safety is crucial for the success of our investigation. In the afternoon, after several reports, Maria has a bold idea and decides to share it with Juan. Juan! I have an idea! What's the plan? I plan to blend in among the residents to gather information more discreetly. Juan, you'll be in charge of investigating more deeply inside the chapel. Maria, this could be dangerous, and you might be at risk. Are you sure? Yes. It's the only way to be more assertive, gaining the trust of the locals. All right, if Commissioner Gutierrez approves, let's proceed. Very well, Maria. Proceed with the plan. But if there's any danger, we step in immediately. Well done, detectives. Let's move forward. Later that night, something very bad seemed to be about to happen. Maria, upon arriving home after leaving the district, is surprised by the trafficker and his henchmen. She fights for her life and couldn't draw her weapon. The henchmen are too strong. Nevertheless, she tries, and amidst punches and kicks, Maria is struck in the head, fainting, and is taken by the criminals. On the morning of the operation, one arrives at the district and, alongside Commissioner Gutierrez, notices Maria's delay. Concern grows, 
leading one to decide to go to her house since his attempts to contact her by phone were in vain. Upon reaching Maria's residence, he is faced with clear signs of struggle. Her weapon lies on the floor, adding an extra dose of anguish to the situation. Determined to unravel what happened, one begins reviewing the events of the previous day, hoping to find some significant clues. However, his efforts yield no useful memories or immediate revelations. The urgency to help his partner, perhaps even the woman he hadn't realized was the love of his life, propels one to act quickly in the face of this disturbing uncertainty. And so, we reach the end of the third chapter of La Santa Muerte, with our detectives even more involved, now with the urgent mission of finding Maria. The story continues to unfold, and the destinies of these detectives are inexplicably intertwined. Don't miss the next chapter full of suspense and action. Thank you for watching this video until here. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, and activate notifications. Enjoy and check out other content on our channel. Bye.